All right guys, how are you all doing out there? David Hamble Trekker Channel. Got to do a bit of kit to review. The Fiskars brush hook. The bastard child of a machete and a bill hook. Let's check it out. This is the Fiskars XA3 Wood Expert brush hook. Uh, my description of it is a cross between a machete, it actually says machete on a packaging. So Fiskars themselves are calling it a machete, crossed with a type of bill hook, bill hook you got up here. But they've actually rounded off the bill hook which I guess is a kind of a safety feature, doesn't give you that pointedness. We'll see how that performs in the reality, how this actually affects the performance and what this rounded hook is actually useful for or not so useful for. It's got a plastic handle, slightly soft here. Overall length is 400 and, I'm oh, sorry, 505 millimeters. So I was confusing it with the weight, which is 405 grams. Got a hanging hook, probably something to do with manufacturing too there, so you can hang on a nail in your shed. And the thickness, I'm going to be calling about one and a half millimetres thick and it's consistent thick, there's no distal taper. It's got a very sharp blade out of the packaging, can cut paper with it and it's a continuous curve on the blade and it's sharp all the way around here and then actually becomes here is completely unsharpened on this rounded portion here comes in this plastic carrying handle case what you want to call it so you can hook it up to some sort of uh, hook in your shed or your garage wherever you want to put it up or well, you could use it to protect the blade if you're going to carry it in a pack you turn that little orange bit there and it comes out so I'm going to be putting this through a few paces now first of all is it a good garden tool? That's one thing to think about. And number two, is this something maybe you want to add to your pack as a bushcraft uh, tool? I was very impressed with that performance, chopping this medium sized log, about three and a half inch diameter log. It actually gave me something akin to axe chopping uh, performance. So you sort of gave it about 10 or 12 chops there. It's almost gone all the way through, could have easily got all the way through. And it was biting off huge chunks. Bang it this way. You can see I was coming in with a curvature of the blade there, was slicing in the sharpness of the blade. Beautiful the way it was taking out big cheese like gouges out of this uh, beech tree. I've reset the camera angle to try and get a better view of the cutting. The bite, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's have a look at these chips. I was deeply impressed with that cutting on that medium sized log there. Look at, look at the chips it was pulling out of it. Huge great chips being pulled out by the bush hook. You can see this curvature, this blade curve was just biting in and it was just slicing in both from the top downstroke and from the upstroke. So impressed with that, let's take that same log, lay it horizontally and see how it performs. Look at these deep cuts. Super impressive for a blade of this light weight. We've got some brush here, let's see how it gets on with a bit of brush clearing. Imagine you're clearing this in your backyard or you want to clear a space for your camp. We'll take it right down to the root. One gone. We'll have a go at this one. Again, we'll take this one down to the root. Okay. 
That's a tough putter. So the concept with a bill hook is you've actually got a slashing blade like a machete with an integrated hook. So this enables you to slash and hack at vegetation and then simultaneously pull it away. And I gave it a little bit of a test there. Honestly, I'd give it an adequate pass mark there. It was working. It wasn't going through there, you know, it wasn't sweet as a nut, but it was going through it. It was working. I think I'd like a little bit more of a curve on the hook to pull it away. It won't hurt to see how it performs against something like this, a three quarter inch twig, so you, you're creating some wood for some fire, some tin, kindling. They go beautiful, almost scalpel like cuts through that three quarter inch twig. Let's try on saying it should be excelling out, a bit of delimbing. Obviously, safety first, mind your fingers. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice first two cuts. Yes, oh, beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, as expected, excelling at delimbing, going through that beautifully. Let's try some trick shots. I found this disc of timber here. Let's balance it here. I'll try and go straight through it. By the power of grey skull. That is pathetic. What a blooper. Let me give it another go. Right. I blame all my foot in here in this swamp. By the pay of grace gold number two. It's deflected off of it. Actually guys, we're learning something here. Yeah? This blade is light. So when it's coming in, it's hitting the grain and it's deflecting off rather than passing all the way through. You see it's coming in and then it's deflecting off. So even from being, doing stupid things, you can learn some stuff. One last shot, try and go straight through the middle. I'll try and be more over it. So what do I make of the Fisker's brush hook? Well, what is it? It's a cross between a machete and a bill hook. It's not flexible. People like to know if their machetes are flexible. It's got a bit of bend in it, but it's a tough cookie. It's comfortable to use. It's got just enough the right length of handle to be able to give you a good swing. Different types of cutting tasks, clearing the brush, adequate. Going through that big medium sized log, super impressed with that. Cutting up the smaller finger sized bits for kindling, absolutely no problem, excelled at that. Excelled at delimbing. I'll give it a pass mark uh, and I'll tell you how much it cost me. I picked this up in the Fiskers outlet. There it is, Fiskers outlet. Only 100 crowns, Swedish crowns in Sweden, which is about, I don't know, $12. Very, very cheap, and for that, I'm absolutely made up that I got it. Is it something to add to a bushcraft kit? Why not? It could be. You've got some sort of cover to put on it, so it doesn't cut anything up in your, in your kit. Make something provisional. Yeah, it could be useful for clearing a campsite, cutting up small bits of wood for your fire. As a tool, as a knife, I did try and make do some notches, do some trap parts, cut notches, different types of notches, and uh, failed miserably in that. Maybe it's my skill level, I don't know. Number one, when I was laying down on a hard surface, you know, trying to use it, 
straight down vertically against a base plate this hook this sticking out nose is always getting in the way you can never get it flat trying to carve like this this continuous curve I didn't like at all the broadness of the blade made it very very difficult for me to do any of those kind of fine carving tasks that you would normally use as a knife so as a backup knife I'm gonna have to give it a thumb down I'm just gonna call this machete the bill hook that it is as always if you've enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up tell me if you've got any experience of this down in the comment section and I'll see you next time